Georgia set to kick it off with Rodrigo Blankenship. As we watch it from the Piedmont Healthcare radio booth here in the Munson Broadcast Suite in Sanford Stadium. Blankenship, the king of touchbacks. Marquise Young, the deepest receiver. He's their senior running back set to receive the kick. And Blankenship pooches it high and short. Going to come down returnable at the 5 to Young, to the 10, to the 15, near sideline. Wrapped up around the 17, stepping over bodies, but down at the 18-and-a-half yard line. As UMass will start inside their own 20, Keon Richardson on the tackle. The senior linebacker from Wachula, Florida. And Comis, when he curled around on the bootleg, he met... Three red shirts right in front of him. Yeah. Tyler Clark was one of them, too. Boy, that's a bad sight if you're a quarterback. There's the throw. Pass batted down left side by Tyler Clark. They snapped it to Comis back in the shotgun. Clark came in from the left edge, jumped in the air, and whacked it away with one of his arms. It's incomplete. Suddenly, it's third down and 10 very quickly for UMass on their own 18-yard line. Yeah, a bad sign there for the Minutemen as the dogs up front just running through this UMass offensive line like it's not even there. Comas is going to have to get the football out of his hands quick. Empty set again. Comas shotgun snap, and he'll take it and run it straight up the gut, and he'll get four yards to the 22. Ledbetter and Adam Anderson on the stop for Georgia. Anderson, the freshman linebacker from Rome. Ledbetter, the senior defensive end from Tucker, Georgia. The gain was four. And Jake Fromm is the quarterback for the Bulldogs on offense. Elijah Holyfield starts in the backfield. He'll get the first carry. There's a big gaping hole at left guard and left tackle, and Holyfield runs through it, churns across the 40 to the 41-yard line. A gain of seven quickly. UMass starting out here in quarters covers, trying to get their safeties up a little bit closer to the line of scrimmage to get two additional guys there against this rushing attack from the Dogs. Middle linebacker Brighton Barr made that first tackle. Here's Holyfield again. Same spot, same kind of hole. He angles out of bounds, just crossing midfield to the UMass 49-yard line. That's 10 yards and a first down brought to you by Scana Energy. Dogs two plays, and they've moved into UMass territory. Yeah, nothing fancy there from the Dogs. Just a couple of inside read option looks that the Dogs have run, but the, the Dogs should dominate this football game on both lines of scrimmage. Swift is in in the backfield. They'll fake it to him, hand it to Simmons on the end around. Tyler with running room. Tyler, 35-30, 25-20, far side of the field, 10-5. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Tyler Simmons. His third career score, his second this season. For a big block downfield there by Isaac Nada on the reverse. Simmons able to break it down very easily. That big offensive line sealed the edge. But the downfield blocking, which has been so good here in this recent run by the Dogs, continuing to be very good there as Isaac Nauta doing exactly what he needs to do and paving the way for Simmons. First and 10 on the 35 for the Minutemen. Russ, Ross Comis, excuse me. Pump fake, he pulls it down, and we're going to sack him back at the 30-yard line. He rolled to the right a little bit, pump fake, looked downfield, rolled back to the left, and got hammered by DeAndre Walker first and Jordan Davis second. They finish him off a five-yard loss and a sack back at the 30. Just having their way with it right now. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of variations of looks that we give, knowing that we can dominate this football game just with our down linemen. Third and nine from the 36, and Comis hits his man young out of the backfield and left flat and he had to pull it down and fake it because we had so many defenders in his uh, passing line <laughs> in the passing lane but they complete the pass young gets two yards uh, to the 38 yard line hit by Richard LeCount the safety and stopped there after a two yard pickup Second down and six, handoff Swift. Oh, he gives a man a move. <laughs> He's got to pat that thing. And he dances up to the 45-yard line. One guy grabbing it air. Welcome to the SEC. Uh, up to the 45, he faked out Brighton Barr, who's a very good tackler. 138 tackles so far this season, which is among the best in FBS. But uh, Swift up to the 45-yard line and a gain of nine and a scan of energy first down. Yeah. And a pickup of six yards. Four receivers set, two to each side. Play fake from a bullet. He throws to Godwin from the other side this time on a quick slant from the right. 
Godwin makes the catch. The tackle made at the 39, right where he caught the football. But he picks up nine and another scan of energy first down. The dog's moving the stick steadily here. <laughs> he started in 2012, but he fought through injuries for two seasons and got that waiver from the NCAA. He's been playing a long time when he's healthy. Holyfield with the ball. Stiff arm in the backfield at the 20. Breaks that tackle. 15, 10, near sideline and out of bounds at the 6. Official still walking. He's going to put the ball down at the 5. Pushed out of bounds by Tyshawn Ingram. As No, that was the stiff arm. He stiff armed Ingram back at the line of scrimmage, then pushed out of bounds by Hayes. But it's goal to go for the dogs as Holyfield ran it down 13 yards down to the 5-yard line. Well, you got on full display there all the talent from Elijah Holyfield, the strength and the stiff arm, able to break a tackle, and then the speed and the burst as he got outside after that stiff arm and shot through a hole for a nice pickup. First and goal at the minute mid five. Holyfield bounces out left. He's going to waltz into the end zone. He shredded a tackle at the six and untouched a light jog into the left front corner of the end zone for the touchdown, and Georgia's leading it 13 to nothing. Square up the... UMass quarterback and just drive him backwards on contact. Curtis will stay in. He'll throw a little flare pass to the left side. And it is caught by Young, I believe, is the recipient. And it is Marquise Young. He angles back towards the right on the hash, and we tackle him around the 33-yard line. Adam Anderson, the freshman linebacker from Rome, with another stop. And it's going to be fourth and a couple for UMass. And the Minutemen down 14 to nothing on fourth and two from their own 33-and-a-half-yard line. Will decide to punt, apparently. Uh, just a quick uh, scr uh, a swing pass out to Young there and tried to almost set up a, a little screen out of it, have him cut back against the line of scrimmage where those offensive linemen were out in front of them, but just no dice. The Georgia defense swarming. Here's the punt by Reynolds to Godwin, and I, he misplayed the ball, or did he not touch it? It's downed by UMass as they caught it on the bounce. Did Godwin touch the football? He did. It's going to be a turnover as Terry muffed the punt. It went through his fingertips, bounced off the turf, and right to a UMass player, a 51-yard punt, and the dogs have turned it over. At their own 19-yard uh, line, they'll spot it down at the 16-yard line. Now UMass with a scoring opportunity here as the defense has to go back out onto the field. Well, Scott, you just called it. The, the, these punts are kind of knuckling down the field, and it's it's hard to, to really judge it. That one obviously misjudged by Godwin. He undoubtedly touched the football. That was, that was clear, and it hops right up into the bad guy's hands there. A rare... Muffed punt by Terry Godwin. That's usually why he's in the ball game for safety purposes. But that ball knuckled away and it just touched his fingertips. And here's UMass at our 16-yard line. They toss it to Young. He's running with a full head of steam, angling to the right, down to the 10, maybe the 9-yard line. As we had a lot of red shirts around the ball, J.R. Reed making the tackle, but Young with six yards on that first carry in the red zone, and it'll be second down and four for the Minutemen from the Georgia 10-yard line. Boy, that's the first time that the Minutemen have had any kind of push on the offensive side of the ball. Just a little tall sweep there to get to the edge, and the Minutemen overloaded that side, but a good job in execution. Comus is back in at quarterback, and they hand it off to Young. He is driven back by Otis Reese, the safety, as uh, Young came through the line of scrimmage at right guard. Reese, number 17, plowed through him with the shoulder pads at the 8-yard line. That's where his forward progress is. His spine might be back at the 11-yard line, and now there's a flag uh, dropped at the 10. Boy, that just doesn't get any prettier. Reese walked up from his safety position and actually sat right in between the Mike linebacker and the, the Sam linebacker. So he was in a linebacker position, able to shed a block. And from a form tackling perspective, you just don't get any better than what you just saw right there from Reese. I think that was a decleater as it looked like Young's feet came off the turf when Reese hit him and drove him back. Here's Matt Austin with the call on the penalty marker. Illegal formation on the offense, more than four in the backfield. It's five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Well, that was a delayed flag. <laughs> Young probably said, hey, drop that flag before they give me the ball after that hit by Reese. So Otis got a free shot there. It's going to be a five-yard penalty 
on uh, on Massachusetts, and they'll walk it off. Back to the 15 or so. Let's go down to Chuck Dowdle on the uh, Cook's Pest Control sidelines. Chuck. Well, Scott, you mentioned Monty Rice coming out on crutches. He was supposed to be out as a captain, uh, but he's got a boot on his foot. Uh, and that uh, I'm told officially that that speaks for itself, that they will let us know in the post game. Okay. <laughs> All right, here's a speed sweep to Isabella, trying to juke a man out on the corner. That's DeAndre Baker, who chases him out of bounds on the far sideline. They went from right to left on the speed sweep to Isabella. He's got some speed. He gets the ball inside the 10 down to the 7-yard line and pushed out of bounds on that side of the field by Georgia's DeAndre Baker. But the gain is 8 for Isabella. It makes it third manageable now. It's third and a yard for the Minutemen at the Georgia 7. Well, you can see his speed right there. A nice little inside move that throws the defense for the dogs ever so slightly but just that little hesitation combined with Isabella's sleeve, speed allowed him to get outside. Now he gets it on the sweep to the near side. Boom! He's hit at the five. I think he got the first down but he paid for it. Natrez Patrick driving the shoulder right into the bread basket of Isabella. He's filling that one. I think he might want to come out of the ball game, and he does. He's going to head to the sideline after that lick. But they've got it goal to go at the five. Well, another speed sweep trying to get it to their best player and utilize his speed in some space. Problem is, against the dogs, you're going against full-grown men that will put a whooping on you. Ball's on the near hash. Quick snap. Comis handoff. Young, he'll walk into the end zone untouched. At left tackle, touchdown for UMass, and they're on the board with 1.59 to go in the first quarter. So the turnover is costly for Georgia. The muffed punt by Terry Godwin, and the Minutemen took over at the 16, and they eventually get it into the end zone on the five-yard run by Marquise Young, the senior running back from Fairport, New York. So the, the read for just on that read option was accurate, but that blitz got UMass put in the perfect spot. Fields take the snap and the shotgun. He bobbled it, fakes the handoff, and rolls around the right end as he keeps it up to the 30-yard line, hit by Barr, the linebacker, but a nine-yard gain, going to be close to a first down. They spot it back on the 29, so call it an eight-yard gain instead, and it's third and one for Georgia. Yeah, good, good read there by Justin Fields, defensive end for U UMass. Crashed on that one. Fields has got to pull it out. Probably was going to have to pull it out anyway because you mentioned that he bobbled the snap, but able to regain it, still make a good read and make a positive play out of it. Power formation for Fields under center, just going to keep it and plow ahead for an easy first down across the 30, and he got about two or three yards on that quarterback keeper. Up to the 32 and a half or so, Lamont Gilliard paving the way the center for the dogs and the ball's on the 33 that was <laughs> that was a pretty good run for a quarterback sneak boy there's no doubt about it he kind of stood up and picked his hole he just didn't dive forward ran that one like a running back first and 10 dogs 14 to 7 our score final seconds of the quarter play fake fields he's off running this way 45 50 45 40 near sideline 35 30 fields hit from behind and tackled down after a long run near the umass 20 yard line chased down by lee moses senior cornerback on the georgia sideline longest run of the year for justin fields boy and i thought that one was going to the house again perfect read on the read option umass crashes he pulls it then he was off to the races stumbled a little bit by the turf monster it kind of got his feet a little bit or else he may have been off to the races 47 yards on that run by justin fields as the dogs hit the massey ferguson red zone and the end of the first quarter first half broadcast Gilliard the center over the ball Hardman goes in motion left play fake fields he throws he's hit as he throws but he gets it in the end zone touchdown on a slant Riley Ridley caught it standing up in the end zone for the touchdown boy great composure there from Justin Fields had a guy bearing down on him hit him right in the chest Fields had to stand up tall in the face of that pressure coming and deliver a strike it's exactly what he did Chinadu Ogbana was the linebacker that was all in Fields' face, but Justin held his ground, fired a bullet into the end zone, caught by Ridley for the score on that quick slant. Three receivers out to the wide side of the field to the right. Ball's on the near hash. 
Guys in white going to the left. Comas drops back to throw. He's got a guy at the 45. The pass is caught by Isabella going down on his knees and tumbling to the turf at the 46-yard line. Baker's in coverage for the Dogs. But the gain is 17 and a first down for the Minutemen. Dogs went man-to-man, -man, brought linebacker pressure, but not able to get to Comas. Comas, they're finding and hooking up with his top target, Isabella, who came into this game with 87 catches. Handoff to Jordan Fredericks, the number two running back into the ball game. His first carry of the contest. Angles to the right, trying to get around the corner to the 49-yard line. Tackle made by Natrez Patrick, and it's third and long for the Minutemen. Third and 16 from just across their own 40. Comas in the pocket, scrambling out, rolling to the right, throwing on the run. Pass is tipped by Webb. But it uh, still heads in its intended direction, and it's caught by Zach Simon. No, that was incomplete. Excuse me. I thought he was. I thought he was able to catch that ball, but it's an incomplete pass. Brian Harrion in the backfield now for the first time. On second down and eight for the Dogs, almost to our 29-yard line. Fromm in the shotgun, takes the snap, looks to throw, looking, left side throw, he's got a man, Tyler Simmons caught on the sideline at the 50, at the 40, race to the end zone, 20, 10, they will catch him, touchdown, Tyler Simmons, he's in the end zone for the second time in the game. That was a check at the line of scrimmage there by Fromm, saw that they were going to get out of the initial look defensively they were in, because of, of a, a blitz that they were showing, UMass ended up going into a cover two look, but Fromm hit Simmons just on a takeoff up the sideline in the soft pot spot of that zone. A poor angle by the UMass safety, which allowed Simmons to get behind the defense and then was off to the races. UMass first and 10 at the 25. Comis on the handoff, end around with some speed to the far side, outrunning the defense across midfield. And into Georgia territory is Brennan Dingle, a redshirt sophomore from Baltimore, Maryland. As he sprints from left to right, got to the far sideline, and up the field he went from the 25 down to the Georgia 33-yard line. To one side of the line of scrimmage, but they run right into it. They run a play fake here and throw it to Fredericks, a transfer from Syracuse out of the backfield, down the right sideline, makes the catch, and then backpedaling, stumbling out of bounds. Now we're at the 15 and a half yard line. Comus, the quarterback, he's got a man out to the right, two to the left, motion man to the near side. Shotgun snap, Comus flushed, breaks away from a tackle, hit again, he won't get away, and next time, and we cover him up back at the 20. He stepped through one tackle, Rochester and Taylor came up field and squeezed that pocket, and then Adam Anderson got in there to get a piece of the sack. They finished him off back at the 20-yard line, but they're going to say forward progress, still a sack at the 17-and-a-half, a loss of about four on the play, and it's fourth down for the Minutemen. They're going to try to get points on a field goal by Garcia. Cooper Garcia, junior kicker, 5'8 and 220 from Ventura, California. A zone blitz look there by the Dogs brought both inside linebackers, dropped out the defensive end into coverage. 34-yard try. Snap is a little high. They put it down. The kick is away into the net. Good. 34-yard kick. Adds three more points for UMass. That makes it 28-10. to That's another All-State good hands field goal in this ballgame. 7-19 to go in the half. First and 10 on the 28-yard line. Fields back in at quarterback. Handoff Holyfield. Starts straight, bounces out right, prepares for contact, lowers the shoulders and drives through a tackler at the 39, up across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Bryce McAllister, the safety, a graduate from uh, East Longmeadow, Massachusetts, made the tackle on Elijah Holyfield up at the 43-yard line. Gain UMass, of 15. UMass brought their strong safety up onto the line of scrimmage. We don't care. We run right into it anyway. And again, good vision there by Holyfield to bounce that thing off side, or outside. Is at the point of attack there. A lot of white jerseys. Play fake. Fields throws it. Tight end wide open. Nauta down the middle. 
middle of the field, running, running inside the 10, down to the 5, tackled from behind at about the 4, maybe the 3. Isaac Nada almost took it to the house, couldn't quite get there, and he's feeling it right now. Isaiah Rogers, the quarterback, caught him from behind, but it's goal to go for the dogs inside the UMass 5. Great ball there by Justin Fields. Just an inside skinny post by Isaac Nada, got around the second level. From, uh, not from Fields delivered it right on time. 54 yards, Fields play fake. Oh, spin move off the right edge, into the end zone, standing up. Touchdown, Justin Fields. He looked like Swift with that move. Boy, did he ever. Got outside on the read option. In space was one-on-one, -on -one, a little nifty spin move. Took it to pay dirt. And the green zone problems, not so much right now. <laughs> a touchdown brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Another quick strike by the Dogs, their third of the game. As the Dogs, with their third touchdown drive of a minute or less, that one took exactly 60 seconds. Shotgun snap and a split backfield. Comas play fake. Rolls to his right. Throws. He had a man breaking open, but the ball was already gone. And it skids on the turf between the hash marks. Incomplete. He had two guys in the same vicinity, see. But it, uh, he had one man running deep. Kyle Horn was the intended target. But the other guy was appeared to be uh, wide open down the seam. But too late. Yeah, I think he was going to his underneath receiver on that, but Otis Reese there to blow that one up. Really no chance. Comas had to put some zip on it, too. It was a lot of red jerseys converging on his receiver. Fourth down, they'll punt it. Pooch it to the left, running up to make the catch is Terry Godwin. First and ten for the Dogs on the 19. Snap the fields, hand it to Swift. Looking for space on the left edge. He's got the corner, 25, 30, 35, and up close to the 40. They chase him out of bounds on the UMass sideline, just shy of the 40 at the 39-yard line. A run of 20 for Swift, tackled by Isaiah Rogers, the cornerback. Second down and six. Dogs going fast here late in the second quarter. Quick throw out in the left flat to Swift off his hands and incomplete. Now that's one that uh, Fields is going to want back. Didn't give his downfield receivers quite enough time for that play to develop. Got off of him a little bit too quickly to his check down. Swift that was covered up by a couple of different minute men. Yeah, he had two guys over there as Georgia's string of seven straight completions comes to an end by both quarterbacks. Fromm, four for four. Fields was three for three prior to that incompletion. He's going to throw again. Deep ball, right sideline. There's Miko over the shoulder catch at the 14 and into the end zone. Touchdown, Miko Hardman. You, you want to see the arm on Justin Fields. Go back and watch this one when you get a second. Just let that one rip. And it was like it came out of a rocket launcher. Miko just on a takeoff. Justin Fields on the far hash. Good job standing in the pocket. Good patience there. Letting that play develop. And then just threw that one on a rope. Boy, that Elbert County speed right there just made some separation between Hardman and the defender for about four yards. And Justin Fields laid it right on the money for a long 57-yard touchdown pass. It's 41-10. to 10. And the point after try on the way from Rodrigo Blankenship. The snap, the hold, the kick, good. 42 to 10. 222 to go. Second quarter. That touchdown sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Well, Justin Fields, he made up for that uh, incomplete pass out in the left flat, didn't he, in a well, big way? I, I would say so. Didn't have patience on that on the play before the touchdown like we just talked about. Got off of his, his downfield reads a little bit too quickly that time. Not the case, and did it with some pressure coming around him. Give the offensive line credit. DeAndre Swift, a good block as well, but Fields letting that play develop and then just let it rip. As we hit him at the 27-yard line, Malik Herring and Channing Tindall on the stop. Second and eight. Comis going to throw it to the near side this time. We try to rip the ball out of the hands of Samuel Emulus as he made the catch around the 35. Got five more after the catch at the 40 going to be a first down for UMass as DeAndre Baker and company went for the strip. They ended up making the tackle at the 40-yard line. First and 10, UMass going quickly. Minute 38 to go in the quarter. Throw down the 
middle of the field. Up the near hash mark is caught low to the ground. Emulus, second straight catch in Georgia territory now at the 49. Patrick and Tyndall are linebackers in coverage to make the stop. But they move quickly, 11 yards for a first down. Good ball there by Comas. That was a tight window in between two dog defenders. Comas snaps, stands in the pocket, fires to the right, caught at the 44, Andy Isabella. This time he was actually beyond the line of scrimmage when he caught the ball and didn't have to try to make something out of it. He got positive yards when he caught it at the 44, a gain of five. Eric Stokes, a redshirt freshman from Covington on this stop for the Bulldogs defense. We're under a minute to go now. Ball's on the Georgia close to the 43-yard line. Far hash moving left, UMass deep ball, far sideline, and broken up, far sideline around the 15 by Stokes. Nice play, tight man-to-man coverage for Stokes. The redshirt freshman from Covington. Zach Simon was the intended target down that far sideline. It was a good pass, and Stokes made a nice defensive play. Boy, did he ever. Good job there. He was manned up on the outside in perfect position and got his head turned back to the football. What we've seen a couple of times this year where Georgia defensive backs, cornerbacks, have not gotten their head around to locate the football. Stokes, you can't play it any better than that. Dogs had the benefit of using the boundary as an extra defender on that play as well. Third down, five for the Minutemen. 48 seconds to go. Comas going to take the ball on the snap and run it. Around the right side to the 40. Devontae Wyatt on the stop short of the first down. He needed five. He got four. It's going to be fourth down and a yard. Design quarterback run there all the way. Comas pushing with all that he had in him, but dogs just too strong. UMass going to go for it on fourth and one. Snap to Comas. Pocket being squeezed. He throws. It's caught at the 32-yard line by Isabella on a spinning catch. First down on the fourth down attempt. J.R. Reed makes the tackle along with Richard LeCount in the UMass. secondary. The third and final timeout of the half. Be 30-second timeout. And the Minutemen will stop the clock as you hear referee Matt Austin explain at the... Uh, Ball's on the 27-yard line. They stopped the clock with 12 seconds remaining in a 42-10 contest. Nissan knows game day is all about the game-winning drive, so Rogue has available technologies that will help make the day's best drive getting to the stadium. Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. UMass Paul, they're trying to move quickly down the field here in the last seconds of the first half. It's been all Georgia for the most part, 42-10. In a lopsided first 30 minutes, but the Minutemen moving down the field nicely here late in the second quarter. First and 10 coming up just outside the Georgia 27-yard line. Well, it's just been a clinic by the dogs offensively. You just ran through the stats, but everybody right now executing at a very high level against an overmatched UMass defense. Comas, 15 of 22, 104 yards throwing. He's going to throw here. Angles it far to the right side. It's caught at the 20. Man breaks the tackle. Simon scrambles out of bounds after he made the catch. He broke free, which would have kept the clock running. Tyreek McGee couldn't get him down in bounds. He gets out of bounds at the 15-yard line. And it's a pickup of 12 and another first down. And only five seconds remain for UMass. They're going to try to get points on a field goal right here. Not going to risk... Trying to throw it into the end zone, or at least in that direction. They're going to try to go for three here with Cooper Garcia. Far hash kicking left into the west stands from about the 22 and a half. 32-yard try here for the Minutemen with five seconds to go. Second quarter. Snap, hold, kick is away. Kick is good. So Garcia with his second field goal. That's another All-State good hands field goal in the contest. And that's going to be the final play of the half. And a good half it was, however, for Georgia. The Dogs lead after 30 minutes of play, 42-13 to 13 over the UMass Minutemen. Z, thoughts on that first half? Well, offensively, you got exactly what you wanted to out of everything that, that you tried to do. Just uh, Jake Fromm. Good, solid first half, four out of four. Justin Fields coming in, showing what he can do, throwing the football as well, four out of five. Defensively, probably some things that Coach Smart's not going to be overly happy about. Uh, some of that there, that last drive, dog sitting in the back a little bit softer in, in coverage. 
<laughs> on the 34, first and 10. Well, we think Fromm is number 11, and he gives it to number 35. Harrion bounces outside and right quickly across midfield into Minute Men territory and out of bounds at the UMass 42-yard line. Uh, Bryce McAllister, the safety, and Lee Moses chasing him out of bounds into the far sideline, but it's going to be a quick first and 10 at the 42-yard line of UMass, and that's a Scana Energy first down. From under center, everybody's in tight. Harry in the backfield. Hand off Cook around the right edge with blockers. Cook 20, Cook 15, 10, 5. Cook into the house. James Cook with a touchdown. Well, he ran it out of the end zone to start the possession on the kickoff return, and he finished it on the other end. Just as different numbers, though. Started out as number five, finished as number six, and got six out of it. Go Booth. And the pass is picked off by Tay Crowder. Crowder spinning away at the 32 from a tackler to the far sideline and down there inside the UMass 30. Crowder with his second interception of the season gives it right back to Georgia. The Bulldogs with the football inside the UMass 30. Well, zone blitz looked there from the dogs. I think it confused Promus. Thought he had man-to-man, but we sat back in zone on the back side. Brought pressure from the, the, the field side of the formation. Promus had to get the football out of his hands, but instead of throwing a side adjustment against man-to-man, threw it into the teeth of a zone where Tay Crowder was sitting there waiting for it. Field shotgun snap, drops back on the hash. Now steps up in the pocket, off he goes to the 30, cuts at the 29, spins at the 25, and drives that big body through defenders down to the 22, maybe the 23-yard line. That was a good solid run by the big quarterback, Justin Fields. Ten-yard run. Fields is the dog's leading rusher on the night. Five carries, 72 yards after that 10-yard gain. And we'll try a field goal on fourth down. From just outside the 30-yard line, a 40-yard try for Blankenship near hash, kicking left to the west. Snap, hold, kick high, end over end, spinning towards the goal post, right between the wickets into the net. Good. 40-yard field goal is up and good by Rodrigo Blankenship. That's another All-State good hands field goal in this one. Come out in overtime against Maryland. There's a play fake by Comus. He's going to roll to the right, settle and throw. On a line, he finds his target, his favorite target, Andy Isabella, makes the catch. Tackle made by Eric Stokes on the Georgia sideline at the 38-yard line, a gain of 15 and a first down. Now, Andy Isabella came into this game with 87 receptions. They find some creative ways to get him the football, but he's a very solid route runner. Correction, that was a gain of 11, still a first down. As Comis throws on a quick slant, Isabella going across the middle, bringing it in, extending the hands around the 45, got hit a couple of times, but made the grab up to midfield, tackled by LeCount and Reed for the Dogs' defense. That's 12 more yards and another first down. As the Minutemen are moving, first and 10 from the midfield stripe, moving to our right. They'll run it here with Youngs. Patient running, finding a lot of running space between the tackles right down the hash mark, bouncing a little bit to the right. And for another 11 or 12 yards to the Georgia 38, tackle made downfield by linebacker DeAndre Walker. 12-yard run by Young. He was patient on that run, waiting for the blocks to take place, and then he was reading the blocks and finding some daylight. Yeah, just a little counter play there by the Minutemen. They... Had their big tackle pull come across the line of scrimmage to get the kick out block. And you're right, very patient on that run by Young. UMass moving right down the field on the Dogs 38. Comus with time. Here comes the pocket being squeezed. He is clobbered. He got the pass off to Young. Hit at the 30 and knocked back the other way by Patrick. Flagged down in the UMass secondary. Might be holding, and it is, says Matt Austin. The quarterback... Comus slow to get up. He got whacked, and then Young got whacked at the end of the play. First down. I'm surprised Comus is okay. I think it was Julian Rochester that had him by the ankles, and he got. And then Malik Herring came in over top and just bent him backwards. Yeah, Patrick finished off the play on Young at. From this angle, I thought they might throw a flag on that for targeting because he hit him up high, but I haven't seen the replay, and no flag came out at the end, just the flag on UMass for holding, and that's marked them back to the 48-yard line. So it's first and 20 from the Georgia 48. Now here's Jordan Fredericks 
running the football. He immediately runs on a line towards the UMass bench. A little bit of an angle across the 45 or near the 45. Julian Rochester, the nose man, getting that big body down the line and making the stop at the 45. A gain of three. And it'll be second down and long for UMass. Ross Comas, the UMass quarterback, 19 out of 27 on the afternoon, only 143 yards throwing the football, no touchdowns. He's got the one pick. UMass knows they can't protect for long, so a lot of quick passing game coming out of this offense. Second 17 here, quick throw on the left side as again the pocket was squeezing close, but he got the pass off and the catch is made. Isabella with Tyson Campbell in coverage. Makes the, uh, makes the catch in front of the uh, UMass sideline at the 35-yard line. And Campbell makes the stop there. The gain is 10. And now it's third down and somewhat manageable after a first and 20 after the hold. But it's third and six from the Georgia 35-yard line for Massachusetts. 52-13, to 13, Georgia leading this ball game here in the third quarter. Dogs defense switching around. Shotgun snap. Oh! Pressure and sacked J.R. Reed on a blitz. Clobbered him from the left edge. Boy, Comas never saw him coming either. Good job of disguise by the dogs. Very patient on that blitz, but came off the edge. Nobody was there in protection. Loss of seven and a half back to the 43-yard line. And any thoughts of scoring just went out the window with that clobbering by J.R. Reed on the 20-yard line. Justin Fields is the quarterback under center. Harrion's in the backfield, the lone setback. End around to Robertson. Demetrius Robertson gets to the corner, swinging and flailing his arms as he tried to get control of his body and head up field. And he's going to get uh, 10, 11, maybe even 12 yards on that run to the left edge. Well, another speed sweep coming from the Georgia Bulldogs, just getting on the edge. Nothing fancy about it, but getting outside of contain. And then telling UMass, come catch me. <laughs> That's a scan of energy first down on the 12-yard pickup. First and 10 at our 32 for the Dogs. Cook in motion the other way. Quick handoff by Fields to Cook. Cook gets to the corner. 40, 50, 45, and tackled there up high on the UMass sideline by uh, McAllister, the safety. That's another scan of energy first down. Well, they can't stop the speed sweep. We ran it to the near side, and then we ran it to the far side, and we're down to the 45-yard line of UMass. Boy, it just huge chunks of yardage. Every time we run it, we're getting outside of containment, finding a crease, and again, it's just the speed that's taking over. Two plays in a row here, essentially three out of four on the last drive. 23 yards for Cook on that run. Now, this time, Crumpton in motion across the formation to the right. He's going to settle in the slot right. Play fake fields. Drops back on a 45. Going deep ball down the middle of the field. It all incomplete in the end zone. Demetrius Robinson looking like it hit him in the hands, but Robertson unable to hang on. We'll take a look at the replay and see if that indeed was the case, but the ball looked to be on the money, Z. Boy, it did it ever. That ball very well thrown. It looks like Demetrius Robertson started looking up for the football instead of running through it. It got off balance a little bit. That oh. ball perfectly thrown, though. Oh, that was six. But Robertson went right through the hands, unfortunately. <laughs> Looking at the replay, one of the guys in the end zone was just grimacing after that. Caught on video. Second and ten from their 45. Well, let's see if we can make up for that. Here's Harrion going to bounce outside to the 40, to the 35. Runs through a guy at the 32 and picks up about uh, two more yards to the 30. Jarrell Addo, a redshirt senior outside linebacker, makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. A good hard run by Harrion of 15 yards. That's another scan of energy first down for the Bulldogs. Yeah, dogs getting deep into the roster. When you get to your third and fourth backs and you've got your second and third linemen scattered throughout the game. Your third, fourth, fifth tight end coming into the into the football game right now, and you're still just chewing up yardage. It's good to see if you're of the Bulldog Nation. Trey Hill, the new center, snapped to field. He got popped and hands it off to Harrion. Harrion going to be hit at the line of scrimmage and piled up. A helmet goes rolling out of the pile. Fields took a pretty good hit after he handed the ball off. 
I don't think the defender had any intention of tackling the runner. Oh, that, oh, that should have been a flag looking at that replay. Holy smokes. Wow, and no flag came out. He had already handed off the ball, and the defender just plowed right through fields. And Harrion was already running in the opposite direction. It's the dirty-looking hit by the UMass defense. Well, let's make them pay, dogs. Second down from their 30. Second and 10. Fields play fake with time to throw in the pocket. Now he's going to run out. They'll tackle him from behind. Drag him down around the 32-yard line from behind. He started to run to the right. Jake Bisco, the defensive end from Auburn, Massachusetts, makes the stop. And it'll be third down and 12 now for the dogs on the UMass 32-yard line. Coverage sack there by UMass. One of the few times today they were very solid coverage downfield. Justin got through a couple of uh, guys in his progression, then tucked it in and ran. Probably as he goes back in film, want to get to the third progression, maybe the fourth progression if you can before you flood or, or flush the pocket. Fields in the shotgun, takes the snap pressure from the edges and flushed out. There he goes. Now he's going to run. He's going to run for days. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Lowers the shoulders. Drives through the secondary defender inside the five down to the one. McAllister tried to make a tackle up high, and Fields made him pay by a battering ram. He just ran right through him, and they're going to spot him out of bounds at the two. It's goal to go for the dogs. UMass brought the house that time. Good job on the initial surge by the Georgia offensive line. Again, coverage pretty solid, but that time when Justin broke the pocket, nobody was there because of the man-to-man -man coverage, and you're right. He got there on the edge, didn't even think twice about sliding or getting out of bounds. He lowered his shoulder, and he was going through somebody. Boy, he did. My goodness. Goal to go from the two. The th run was 30 yards for Justin Fields. He's got 100 yards. He's our leading ball carrier first tonight. Georgia, first time out of the half. Dogs, goal to go inside the Massey-Ferguson red zone. Experience the compact utility tractors that will take you through the season strong. Ball's on the two. 61 seconds to go in the quarter. And Georgia uses a time, but we'll stay right here just to learn more. Three receivers left for Georgia. Fields, handoff, Harrion cuts inside the tackle and into the end zone. Touchdown between the hash marks, running, dragging a man with him. He was standing up as he scored. Yeah, nothing fancy there, just a little read option. Harrion, his size and his strengths just too much there for UMass and a nice little crease. And then once he got past the line of scrimmage, there was nothing that was going to stop him as he had Two or three UMass defenders trying to hang on for dear life. Brian Harrion with his third rushing touchdown this season. One second remains here in the third quarter, and the Dogs will try the point after as we approach 60 points. The kick by Blankenship up into the high part of the net there. He got a lot of foot and leg into that one booted it up through the uprights good it's 59 to 13 georgia leading umass that touchdown by brian harry and sponsored by southwest airlines low fares from atlanta to over 90 destinations you love we still got a second to go here in the third quarter fans getting a little antsy to light up sanford here tonight and the lights have already started to come on but we haven't quite gotten to the fourth quarter yet we still got one second to go UMass at the 25-yard line, first and 10. They'll hand it off to Fredericks. He'll lateral it back to Comus, the quarterback, and he's going to throw a deep ball to Isabella, who makes the catch downfield, spins away from one man at the 18 to the 15, angling right to the 10, to the 5, cuts inside, touchdown. Boy, you could just see the speed of Isabella right there. He got behind the defenders on the trick play, Comus. Took a pretty big shot. He's struggling coming down the field right now, but launched it up. Isabella able to catch it and this out ran Georgia defenders. 75 yards on the trick play. They handed the ball to Fredericks, the running back. He ran to the right, passed it back on a lateral behind him, back to the quarterback, Ross Comis, and then he just unfurled a long, deep ball. To Andy Isabella, who Z, as you said, had gotten behind the defense, gotten behind three of our defenders, and then once he caught it, it was just a matter of him working his way through that group of defenders and finding a way to get in the end zone, which he did, 75 yards. And now that's the end of the third quarter. It took a while to get that second off the clock. 
UMass got points with it. It's 59-20 to 20 as we go to the fourth quarter. They're going to light up Sanford Stadium right now. We're going to take a break here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. First and 10 at the 25 for the Dogs. Pitch it forward to Cook. He's off and running this way. And he's got a block on the edge. He's up across the 40 to the 45. Blunt trying to hold his block, but UMass able to get him down to the turf and out of bounds. Uh, takes the snap from Jamari Sal. You're going to fake it to Cook. Roll to the right looking to throw. He puts it in the air, and it's caught on the Georgia sideline by Trey Blunt. A tumbling catch tackled by Isaiah Rogers at the 27-yard line, a gain of 12 and a first down. Good job by Downing there, throwing on the run, getting his shoulders square, and getting downhill to get that football to Blunt. That's the third catch of the year for Blunt, a sophomore from Atlanta. First and 10, Georgia. If you know someone who makes an impact on their community, Team UGA is presented by Georgia Powers, accepting nominations for members who demonstrate an unselfish giving attitude. Go to georgiadogs.com now to submit your nomination. First and 10, Georgia. At the UMass 27-and-a-half yard line. Here's Cook on the carry. Cook cutting back. Across the other way. Changes directions. Veers and weaves inside the 10. Five touchdown between the hash marks running on a full sprint into the end zone. Boy, just too much speed. Way too much green grass. Not a chance for a UMass defender there. My goodness. 65-20. to 20. Georgia on a really nice run by James Cook. Just Swinging out wide to the right and then back the other way and then weaving his way for the final 12 yards into the end zone for the score. It's brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Low fares from Atlanta to over 90 destinations you love. Yellow Jackets a winner. They'll visit the Dogs next week. Here's Comus going to drop back in the pocket, throw it long, deep, caught inside the five, I think, and a touchdown in the right corner. Andy Isabella racking up more yards and another score. On a long touchdown throw by Ross Comis and caught in the front right corner of the end zone going to the west end zone here at Sanford Stadium. He got behind Mark Webb. Webb rode him down into the turf in the end zone, but it was too late. He already got the six. Yeah, fantastic throw. Even a better route there as Isabella, a little short, quick motion inside, ran a post corner as good as you can run a post corner. Really set it up well. Lost Mark Webb a little bit with it. And then that ball thrown right over the outside shoulder before Webb could get there. Third down at five for Georgia on the UMass 30. Toss it to uh, McIntyre. Running behind, blocking to the right side. Tackled around the legs by Barr as he ran behind blockers. McIntyre hit the turf pretty hard. But uh, five-yard gain, almost a full five to the 25 and a half. And it's going to be fourth and very short. Fourth and less than a yard for the Dogs. And we'll keep the offense on the field, it would appear. 27 seconds on the play clock. Dogs will let the game clock tick under two minutes now. And the Champions for Charity game is on. Every time Georgia wins, Camp Twin Lakes, Salvation Army, and Children's Health Care of Atlanta win because Walton Gas will donate $1,000 to each of these local charities. Everyone's a winner with Walton Gas. On fourth and short, Handoff will run it at left tackle, get the first down, and a little bit more down to the 20. Ian Donald McIntyre with a five-yard run for a first down. Minute 28, clock still ticking down. Dogs have rushed for 423 yards tonight and over 700 yards in total offense tonight. Yeah, just a great performance, well executed. UMass, no question, overmatched today, but... What we saw offensively out of the dogs, the explosiveness, so many playmakers. I mean, down three and four deep on the death chart. Uh, just really fun to watch these guys. Dogs will go into the victory formation here with 54 seconds to go, five on the play clock. Downing will take the snap and take a quick knee, and the countdown to zero will continue as we snap it one final time, and that'll be the last snap of the game. The final 25 seconds will tick away. We'll take that 25 to give you our fourth quarter recap presented by Ag South and Ag Georgia Farm Credit Loans for Land and Farm. Well, in the fourth quarter, 
Georgia scored and UMass scored one touchdown apiece. It was kind of back and forth in that second half. James Cook scored the second of his two touchdowns in that fourth quarter. 27-yard uh, run for the score to make it 66-20 uh, to 20 at that time. And then UMass came back on a 45-yard pass to Isabella to cap the scoring. And the clock has hit zero. 